Here we are in step number four of the full sew-in hairstyle with Mrs. Rutter's Hair Extensions. In this step, I'm going to be teaching you how to create your handmade closure to close off your full sew-in look. Now here we are at the point where I'm going to be teaching you how to make your handmade closure. From the space that you left on the top of your head, you want to make sure that when you place your two fingers on this space and go in any direction, it's about the space of your two fingers. For me, that's about two inches wide. Now when you create your closure, I suggest that you use your hand as a guide to make sure that the length of your weft is long enough. So literally make sure that the weft is from your middle finger all the way down to the bottom of the palm of your hand. For me, that would be seven inches. At this point, what you wanna do is make sure that you have your needles and thread prepared, your hair clips, a rubber band, hair cutting scissors, your comb, and your flat iron with a dry towel because we will have to flatten out the closure after you create it. So when you first begin, what you want to do is take your closure. You want to insert your needle and thread right at the tip of it and create two knots. And when you create two knots, you're going to fold the weft and you're going to sew it with two knots and then continue to fold it into a circle, which you will see in just a second. So take your needle and thread and go through the weft. Once you go through the weft, create a knot. And then you're going to do it once more to secure the knot by going through the weft. So now after you've done that, you're going to roll the weft into a circle. After you've created a circle, you're going to secure that circle with two knots. So you're going to go underneath all of the wefts. Create your first knot and then your second knot. And then you're going to keep doing this process by creating two knots along the fold of each circle. And when you reach the end, you're going to go through the very tip of the web twice to create your knot, just like you did at the beginning. So what you've seen at the beginning at the tip of the weft is what you're going to do at the end on the last tip of the web. So just keep rolling it into a circle and create two knots along the way. So now as I've stated before, when you reach the end, you want to go through the tip of the weft once, create your knot, and then go through again twice to create your knot. This will prevent the edge of your closure from unraveling. Once you finish creating your two knots, leave your needle and thread intact so that way, when you're sewing it at the top of your head, the needle is already connected to your closure.
So now that you've finished sewing down your closure and your needle and thread is still connected, what you want to do is turn the closure over. You want to comb all of the hair down evenly and then flatten it with your flat iron. Make sure that the setting is on 350 degrees to make the hair as flat as possible. After you finish flattening down your closure, I will then show you how to sew the closure at the very top of your sew-in. After you finish flattening your closure, this is what the underside would look like. Now the underside won't be seen at all, it'll be right against your net as you sew your closure down. When you sew your closure down, you want to take your needle that you left connected, you want to go through your netting and then hook through the side of the weft to pull out and create a knot. So as you're sewing around your closure, you're going through your weaving net through the edge of the weft, come out, create a knot. Do the same thing, go through your weaving net, go through this edge here, come out, create a knot. So you're gonna do that all the way around until your closure is fully sewn down. Also, what you wanna do to prevent these hairs from getting stuck is you wanna put a rubber band on here. And also, if it helps, use clips to hold the hair as well to keep the hair out of the way. So now at this point, you're just gonna use your hand to just place your closure where you want it to sit at the top of your head, and then you're just gonna grab your needle and thread and begin stitching it down. So this is where I'm gonna place it. Now if it's helpful, use a mirror too to make sure that you can see the top of your head. So what you wanna do is grab your needle. You wanna go through your neck. Then you want to go through the edge of your closure. Then you're going to pull through to create your knot. Now just work your way going all the way around in very small increments to make sure that your knot is fully sewn down. So we're just going to go over just a little bit of space. Insert your needle into your weaving net and then go through the edge of your closure. And then create your knot. So just as, as I've stated before, keep repeating this process to work your way all the way around your closure and then to come back to your starting point and secure your last knot where your first knot was created. So as you can see, after you've completely sewn down your handmade closure, this is how your hair should look at this point with your full sewing style. Use your flat iron to press against your closure once you've installed it if you want it to be just a little bit more flatter. So now that you're at this point, in the very next step, step number five, I'm going to be teaching you how to create bangs with your full sew-in hairstyle.